the issue when we're in denial is access to help. Get, who do we turn to to help us make those commitments and follow through with them? And personally, I think that therapists and coaches are a great source for help if you have the money for them. Um, if they're, if, but a better source for help would be to get together in a group that wants to promote change and take action within that group. The issue is lack of alternatives and options. Um, and it's interesting, even as I think about the police department, what are the alternatives and options? I bet you there's a million of them, but for some reason I haven't thought of them. And if I haven't thought of them, how much are they thinking of them? But, so alternatives and options are between our ears. There appears to be a lack of alternatives and options, but there are actually unlimited alternatives and options. The issue is an unaddressed underlying trauma. So there is an underlying trauma in our society for racism and the source in our society is slavery. And that trauma still has not been completely relieved. And part of it is, uh, I know that's something I come up against all the time as well. Hell, my people came over two generations ago. What did they have to do with that? Is part was one thing, is a conversation I've had with myself. And the other side of that is I've benefited from that by being a white male in the United States of America. I've benefited from the economic, uh, economically unbalanced society that we live in, this unbalanced because of racism, this unbalanced because of any ism you want to throw in there. I've benefited from it, and therefore I have a debt to pay. Because it's kind of like drawing on a bank. One group has it easier than another group. They've drawn on a bank, and then they need to pay it back in.